Hey guys, Cameron over at 816 Diesel. Uh, I'm doing a cold start walk around video today. It is a 2009 Dodge Ram 1500. A uh, little 57 Hemi truck that we fancied up. Dirty money package, wheels, tires, flares, grill. Uh, we're just going to do a cold start quick walk around video. I, a lot of people give me questions about this truck and I want everyone to know what they're looking at and what it is. So. We've actually got the laser key, so we're going to be doing the remote start today. Two click. The only bad thing about this truck, it's got a little bit of exhaust leak. Just a little bit of click you hear when it's cold, and you can kind of hear it there. Other than that, it's a really nice truck. It runs and drives great. It's got some miles on it, but hopping into the cold start video here. It is a sport package, so you got the center console and a couple of the good upgrades. Uh, but... <laughs> like I said, she's got some miles. 233354. It is a lot of miles, but I'm telling you, this truck, guys, we don't buy anything junky as far as mechanical goes. This thing runs and drives great. Strong oil pressure, all the temperatures are right. There's no check engine lights. You do have a TPMS indicator light for tire pressure because we're running aftermarket wheels and tires that do not meet the specifications for the tire pressure um, but yeah really nice truck 2009 Dodge Ram 1500 Sport SLT it's an automatic 5.7 Hemi you got your power ports down there shift console in the center little tray ice cold heat hot or ice cold AC and hot heat um, you got tow haul button you do have the port here on the dash for 115 and 150 uh, it's got an aux cable for your iPod and hookups for your MP3s, radio, and it does have the steering wheel controls, if you can see back there. Upgraded sound package, four-wheel drive, works wonderfully. Overhead, it has got sliding rear window, which does work. And some courtesy lights, and you got home link too, so you can put your garage door opener in up there. Uh, yeah, let's go through the, I'm going to scroll through some system messages just so you can see the system info real quick because a lot of people like to. There's no weird overheating, cool temps at 122, oil temp 104, oil pressure, so everything looks good, a little bit above which is perfect, everything looks like it should be. Um, really nice truck and I mean the color it, it doesn't do it any justice this maroon color just pops uh, while it's quiet in here I'm gonna go over the modifications we put an aftermarket mesh grill and had it paint to match on the surround we did a set of pocket fender flares riveted bolt-on style paint to match um, and we did a 20 by 12 inch ion wheel with a 35 inch tire so we're gonna hop out and go around some body scuffs and check it out but it's a pretty clean truck. I mean, it's got 233K on it, so don't expect a brand new truck. I mean, it's 230,000 miles, but it is sharp. I mean, just look at it. It's a beautiful red. It cleans up nice. Uh, we also did an aftermarket black housing headlight on it just to kind of tie that look together. Uh, but the exhaust leak, as you can hear it, it's got a little one. They all got them. A lot of these Hemis do it with higher miles. Still runs and drives fine. It doesn't throw any exhaust codes, no cat codes, no nothing. Uh, it is the factory sport dual exhaust package. Like I said, 20 by 12 ion wheels. We service the front end suspension, uh, wheel bearing, tires are brand new, 100% tread. They got a 40,000 mile warranty. They literally have five miles on them. We do these trucks up. All these accessories are new. The fender flares are brand new. It's got Nerf bars on it, tinted windows. It has a roll-up truck cover. I think it's the Truxedo one. Nope. Tagco. But a nice truck cover there. Uh, I, I want to go over, as far as damages, there's not damages, but it does have some little scratches in it. I mean, you can see right here, it's touched up. Someone did some touch-up paint on here, but it's got a few little scratches and rock chips. The truck is not perfect by any means but it does clean up nice 
little bit of touch up here. This red color in the sun, it shines. It's almost electric looking. It's a really cool color, but it does show the imperfection. So I can kind of point them out to you as we go by a lot easier. Little scratch there that's been touched up. Right here, someone caught the side of this. And it's just some scratches right there, about hand size. It's also a little dusty, but it is scratches on there. Like I said, sport bumper, paint to match, dual exhaust, blacked out emblems, smoke tail lights, smoke third brake light. So we got all the lights blacked out on it. More touch up paint up here. You hear that exhaust. It's got a nice little rumble to it. It's not crazy loud, but it sounds good. All in all, though, it's a great truck, guys. Uh, on the front bumper up here, I do want to show you yeah, here. We got some scratches coming off this front bumper. So, you know, 230K. Condition is pretty correct with the miles. It's, I mean, it's for, for that miles, it's nice. It's a turnkey truck. It is lifted. It's got giant wheels and tires on it. So it's not a day one Cadillac. You know, it's a used truck, four wheel drive with some miles. But we've serviced it. It runs out great. I mean, I, I drive this thing myself. It gets compliments everywhere it goes. But let me know if you got any questions. We're over here at 816 Diesel, downtown Kansas City. Call the shop, 298-7030. If you'd like, it's a landline. Sometimes we don't answer it. Uh, if you want to get a hold of me direct, head over to the website, 816diesel.com. On the website, you're going to find pics, information, VIN number, all that good stuff, uh, and my cell phone. There's a text line on there. It goes right to my cell phone, 913 735 3748 is my phone number. My name's Cameron. Call me, text me anytime with any questions, anything you want to know about it. I am your guy. I appreciate your time as always. You have a great, it's a beautiful day. I said it was a cold start video, but what is it? 46 degrees out in January. So as you can see, this truck drives out great with no problem. Plenty of power. Not an issue. But thanks for your time, guys. Have a great week.